you, you guys are one more games then? was that why do you think they haven't won more games? i don't know it could be anything um that's not my job to figure out what it is my job to prepare here so we can win games you guys are big favorites but rarely do you see a blowout in this series mm -hmm. now the fans are all saying it's going to be a big blowout why do you think it is that these games are always so tight uh, and sometimes a better team doesn't win uh it's just the emotion um the pride that people take in the game uh i mean it's a combination of things and so if you've grown up and you know the rivalry and, and then you know guys across the ball, maybe you have, I don't know, some, some bitter feelings because you might have lost the game before that you don't think I mean, you should have lost. Whatever it may be, guys are just really jacked up for this game. Guys know how important it is to the fans, everybody living in the state, uh, you know, mom and dad, your neighbor, everybody's going to be talking about the game. So it's just... It's one of those deals. Is this thing like a street fight? I mean, literally, I mean, it, how physical does it get down there? What's it like to play in this thing? I mean, it's a really, really physical game. Um, everything's clean, you know, not all the cheap shots and everything, but guys are just getting after it. You want to hit your opponent hard uh, between the whistles. You know, you want to you want to make sure they feel it. Joshua, besides the LL Cool J and the, the Thanksgiving holiday changing your schedule, what is different about this week? Does, is something that gets you one Buckeye Leaf in other games going to get you two? Um, we haven't talked about that. I, I would just say that the biggest thing that's different is all the emotion. Um, you come in after the game on Sunday, um, preparing for this week, and it's just a different feeling. You know, Coach said, hey, we're going to watch film, but we got we got to start working on some of the game plan stuff for this week. So, I mean, it even starts earlier. Uh, you get out there, and, and guys are just ready to go. Have you ever played against a player who's – very different at home than he is on the road because Devin has zero touchdown passes, eight picks on the road. All his eight touchdown passes are at home. Um, I haven't really examined that. I don't know if we've played a player like that, but um, it'll be interesting. I know that it's probably going to be a little bit different uh, this week just because of what the game means and what's on the line, but um, you know, it's something to look at. What's this week like around here? Our Urban says we don't like him, we respect him. Mm -hmm. But just everything he does this week, everything that happens this week, I mean, and it, and it builds to the, to the game on Saturday. What's it like, and what what do you guys get out of this week? Uh, guys are just they're super amped up, they're super focused. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of respect, but we, we just really don't like them. I mean, it's your bitter rival, and uh, so it's the game that everybody really has circled. You know, you got other games circled there, but this is the one, and so. Uh, guys take extra care in preparation, making sure that their bodies are right, making sure that their mind's right. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of things on the line. Josh, how do you sort of, I mean, this game is intense and that's always going to be the case, but how do you sort of temper that intensity a bit so that it doesn't escalate to the point where it got last year when punches were thrown? Uh, you just, you, you got to be ready for those moments. You have to be prepared for anything coming out the gate. And so we've talked about that already. Um, it'll be a lot of, Taking care of your teammates, I think, is a big deal. Um, if you if you see a guy or you know one of your teammates is the type of guy to get fired up, you just got to be, you know, looking out, making sure that if anything happens, you pick him up and say, hey, you know, next play, get moving, you know, get in between the whistles or whatever, but nothing dirty, um, you know, no cheap shots, no fighting, none of that. Curry said a while ago that y'all been told if somebody throws a punch, you're dismissed. Yep. Is, is that true? Is it Urban Meyer said that? That's what uh, that's what Coach told us. And last year. Um, you know, he was he was pretty upset about what happened. We learned a lot from that situation, but um, we take that really seriously, and we take a lot of pride in the game. So, uh, you don't want to mess up a rivalry game like this by having it become you know one of those dirty games. Guys are just fighting all the time.